Hello again, everyone. Edwin Leonard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Vesta and Capricorn in a natal chart. Now, if you wherever you have Vesta in your natal chart, this could show where you show that strong uh, power of concentration, concentration of power, where you don't generally allow extraneous things to interfere with what you're doing. Uh, and really where you show that tremendous focus. Now, Vesta and Capricorn, while well, this focus and this concentration of power can be shown perhaps in something business related, uh, career related, your ambitions in general, whatever you're doing to improve perhaps even stature in life, uh, a Capricorn related field, such as something connected with authority, uh, with business, it could be a management, uh, position, even something with information technology. Uh, it could be because, I mean, this is something that requires uh, a lot of times information technology can be painstaking and really require a lot of patience and being attentive to the details. And Capricorn is really uh, like Taurus can have that very strong uh, patience and ability to work with details. And like Vir in Virgo, not necessarily patient, but Virgo is good with details as well. And it could be something even with government and politics. Uh, so, and like for example, the details like computer programming or, uh, or coding, I mean, those are some things like Capricorn could do well. And even, I mean, Vesta and Capricorn in this case, and even, uh, mundane, just general uh, work. I mean, Capricorn energy is about consistency, and sometimes it's just a, just a general, like, like even like a retail job or doing stock work. That's something that they can often be where where they could get that that set schedule, perhaps, and be and be very consistent and show their reliability and diligence. So, and that's where they, this person may show that strong concentration of power now. Where Vesta is located in our natal charts can also show where we uh, that that sexual partner that, that we want to select through rationalization through analysis, and given that uh, being in Capricorn, well, this person may select somebody that may have Capricorn prominent in his or her chart. And when I say prominent, of course, I'm referring to the sun, moon, or ascendant. So Capricorn, sun, moon, or ascendant. Or it could simply be somebody that embodies Capricorn-like characteristics. This could be a person that could be very serious, very disciplined, mature, an older person even, or somebody that is mature for their age and acts, at least acts older than uh, he or she actually is a person that's very responsible, career oriented, has a lot, it could be rather con uh, conservative, conventional and orthodox, a person that is a good planner and is very premeditative and somebody that uh, really takes uh, what, what they do very seriously. Uh, in life, if this is somebody they select that's really unorthodox or unconventional or flighty, this is a person uh, that might or really that's like a nonconformist, then this could really be disheartening to the, the person that has this placement or and make them just feel despondent because generally this is a person that's going to want uh, somebody that through their through uh, the sexual partner that may they come to select through that, that rationalization, through that analysis, somebody that is more conventional. So that's who they're really looking for as opposed to somebody unconventional. Now, the strong up, uh, where Vesta is placed on our natal charts can indicate where we have that strong devotion and dedication uh, to where, where, we, where we're strongly devoted to now. Best in Capricorn, of course, can show that strong devotion and dedication to matters pertaining to the career responsibilities, their ambition, organization, their duties. It could be things connected with business, uh, just general planning and premeditation. Uh, this is certainly somebody that doesn't really want to have to do things at the last second due to improper planning. So anyway. Where Vest is located in our natal charts can also show where we want to be perfect and infallible. Hardly anybody is ever perfect or infallible in any way, shape, or form. 
but this is where the person often wants to be as close to perfect and infallible as possible and being vested in capricorn well this could be tied into their ambitions and their uh, career endeavors and ability to organize and things pertaining to their responsibilities now it's also where vest is placed in our natal charts can show where we don't want to be restricted and being in capricorn this could be about how successful one could be they don't want to be limited to the success they can attain and their stature in life in general and really another thing too is that keep in mind where vest is placed in our natal charts can also show where we need to extricate ourselves from to escape from from time to time and being in Capricorn, this could be business related interests. It could be matters pertaining to the career, or it could be a Capricorn like uh, position, like a state of a force such as government, politics, even a business. And anyway, another thing, uh, too, is uh, keep in mind, of course, I mean, look at the house placement that your vest in Capricorn is in is that could impact uh, the delineation description. Let's say, for example, somebody has vest in Capricorn in their fourth house. Well, this could be a person that shows a lot of dedication and devotion to responsibilities in their home and does this with a lot of uh, seriousness and being very serious in the process. Also, it's important to look at any aspect, if any, or as aspects, I should say, to Vesta, if any, as that could impact the description delineation as well. Let's say, for example, that somebody has uh, Pluto making an adverse aspect to their Vesta and Capricorn in their natal chart. Let's say it makes a square opposition or even an inconjunct to it. Well, this person might be somebody that might be a little bit uh, fixated and obsessed perhaps on their career endeavors and might wind up pretty much really blocking a lot of other things out. Unfortunately, because of this, this could give an over uh, obsession in matters connected with their career and their uh, ambitions. And so th that, those are some things to look at as far as Vesta and Capricorn goes in the natal chart. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment of Vesta and Capricorn in the natal chart. Stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about Vesta in Aquarius in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because in astrology, a person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.